Be the somebody. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store in Brantford. Now these guys uh, have limited days and hours, so to get to these is a bit tough. Uh, I happened to be in the area at the time that they're open, so we took advantage of that. Uh, Westwood Avenue was with me on this tour. Um, the front area here has uh, really marked down items that they've pulled out of the store so that they can try and sell them off. It's an area of the store that's kind of kind of different. It's a lobby and um, there is somebody watching. They're a reception person for for other things that are going on in the building. So this is what you see out here. Some hard goods, primarily. There's a bit of clothing as well. There's a rack. There's a shelf of books. Their goal is to uh, help folks who really can't do much else. They don't have much to start with to uh, give them an opportunity. And the, uh, I didn't get much in the way of video for the, the clothing portion of the store, but I do have uh, items for or video for this, uh, the hard goods. Not sure what happened there. Maybe I just didn't press the record button. But um, here we go. Uh, thought we might get these, but uh, Westwood said no. They're cute little white glass condiment set. A little, a couple of little uh, owls. There was a lot of interesting items. Um, Yes, there were luggage as well as small appliances, ceramics, glass, kitchen goods. And um, we're seeing some of these at this point. The glass and other decor items, they were uh, on the opposite side of the room and similar kind of shelves, but at the window. A few uh, magazines there, then they had a whole crib of uh, soft toys. So there's quite a few, quite a bit of the uh, glassware. We're in the toy section, and then moving into the books. And from the books, we get into the recorded music. There's the prices for the LPs and 45s. Here's a, an interesting one. And a signed copy, signed by Al Martino. He had the 45 st uh, stacked like this, no sleeves. They're 25 cents. According to that box, the uh, video and music cassettes. There's a whole shelf of them. As you can see them right there. Oh, didn't show you very well. The 
books continue around. And there's the this, uh, the tapes. The toys are in this area as well. Cassettes. The other hard goods that we were talking about earlier. Games. And the books again. They had uh, some some that I've chosen to feature here were uh, this little set. Records are made to be broken. And there was this uh, clock. Interesting. It, I don't think it had the pendulum weight for the bottom. Some people walk in the rain, others just get wet. Roger Miller. Uh, he's the musician that's uh, probably taken from one of his songs. And back to the hard goods. They had some furniture at the in the other part past the clothing. This is a, um, a small student desk, as I would call it. And at the cash area, they had the more some of their <coughs> jewelry costume jewelry. They had the purses. As you can see, they had some nice purses. I didn't take a closer look this time. They had another showcase um, near the entrance to the to the um, hard goods because it's a separate room and these glass cases were over by that wall so there's there's glass cases in three different areas of uh, near the entrance uh, to the store by the cash as well okay thanks hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe and perhaps even a tinkle on the bell so you'll be notified of the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.